Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at Real Racing 2 HD from Firemint. I'm a huge, huge racing fan. So when Real Racing 2 came out and I got my iPad 2, I immediately downloaded it. Uh, this game's a ton of fun. Uh, you've got over 30 licensed cars, you've got 15 different locations. Uh, there's about 10 hours of um, career mode play, uh, playing. Um, I do like the multiplayer. You've got Wi-Fi. You can do iPad to iPad, or uh, you can get online and play with up to 16 different players. Um, one of the first things I noticed, though, when I played this on the iPad 1, uh, was the graphics were really, really sort of crappy on the iPad 1 compared to the iPad 2. Uh, and I'll show you some screenshots here after I show you uh, the iPad 2 version here just to show you the comparison. Uh, Firemint has since come out with an update and uh, it's improved the graphics somewhat on the iPad 1. Uh, but I'm telling you, the graphics on the iPad 2 are just incredible. Uh, especially when you're feeding this to a, an HD set or you're coming out VGA to a monitor. Uh, the mirroring is quite incredible. So the first thing I'd like to do is to sh sort of show you how this works. Uh, like I said, I've started a career mode here and I'm just gonna do a little, quick little race here uh, to show you what this looks like. It's quite beautiful. Uh, the folks at Fireman have done an incredible job on the iPad 2 version. Um, and the update on the iPad 1 version, it makes it a little bit better, but it's still not graphically beautiful as it is on the iPad 2 version. You can change your different views up here. Nice little cockpit view. Can't get over the graphics of this game. Get out of my way! Mr. Pence got some shopping to do. The lens flares are beautiful, the textures are beautiful, and all these locations just look so, so nice. It's responsive. Um, you know, usually I hate gyroscope games to, to steer, but Real Racing, I mean, they've, the folks at Firemate with Real Racing 2, they've, just, they've done it right. Some folks prefer the cockpit view. I just like sort of the straight on view. Pretty cool, you can actually damage cars. If you hit cars a couple of times, your bumper comes off. I'll get you R. Leslie, whoever you are. You could tap the screen to hit the brake, but why would you want to hit a brake? Go as fast as you can. The frame rate's crazy fast on the iPad 2. Uh, and like I said, it's fast on the iPad 1 as well, but you can definitely tell the graphic detail has been tuned down on the iPad 1. The replays are awesome. Love the replays. Oh, oh, taking this turn to, oh boy. Sad thing is, this is the way Mr. Pence really drives. The details on these tracks on the iPad 2 version is just amazing. It really, really is. And I tell you, once you hook this up to a monitor and you're mirroring, it just seems natural to look at the monitor and tilt your uh, iPad 2 or iPad 1 like a steering wheel. Of course, you can't mirror on the iPad 1. And I'll show you how the mirroring works here shortly. I don't have the HD the HD TV HD my cable yet, so I'm still using like a VGA out. But it's pretty pretty damn impressive. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, I just can't get over the frame rate of this. It's just crazy. Alright, so let me show you the replay, how the replay works. I lost my bumper, pretty funny. You can definitely tell a detail difference with the iPad 2 version and the iPad 1 version. Uh, like I said, I've done some screenshots and I've got some wipes uh, between the iPad 2, iPad 1, and then the update to the iPad 1 that Pharmac came out with. And I'll show you those here shortly. But check out this replay, isn't it beautiful? If you love Gran Turismo, uh, if you love Forza Racing and you've got an iPad 1 or iPad 2, you're absolutely going to love We're Racing 2 HD. Like I said, the graphic detail is just incredible on the iPad 2. Um, if you love racing games, you've definitely got to grab this. Check out that replay. Put out of here, you sort of it's in the replay here. So basically, you know the deal. You 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 know you uh, win these races, you get cash, you upgrade your cars. Uh, if you've played Forza or. Uh, Gran Turismo, you know the deal. Um, what I'd like to do now is just sort of show you some different screenshots uh, of the iPad 2 version versus the iPad 1 version. And uh, let me show you that now. So this is the launch screen of the iPad 2 version. As you can see, look at the hood of this Volkswagen. Uh, there is no anti -ali there is no aliasing whatsoever. Uh, here's the iPad 1 version if you look at the hood. You can see the lines aren't smooth. Uh, check out uh, the stands back here. Check out these windows. Uh, they're sort of blocky. Then here's the iPad 1 update. It fixes a little bit, but it still doesn't compare to the graphics uh, engine of the iPad 2. Look at the hood here again. See how smooth that gets? So the iPad 2 version definitely, definitely looks a lot better. Uh, here is a course render. Um, I took some screen grabs uh, from the same area of this course. So here's the iPad 2 version here. And look at the cockpit detail. Look how smooth and uh, straight the lines are. Just how nice it looks. And here's the iPad 2, excuse me, iPad 1 version. And you see the cockpit really sort of gets junked up. Uh, look at the fence line. Look at the, the lines in the fence line, just how jagged they are. Uh, here's the iPad 1 update. And you can see it fixes the cockpit a lot, uh, the cockpit view, and the lines are a little bit smoother. Um, but if you look at uh, the iPad 2 version here, uh, it just doesn't compare to the iPad 2 version, that's for sure. Uh, here's the replay render. Uh, we're starting off to where uh, the replay render, you can see the car. Look at the shadowing, the detail in the shadowing on the iPad 2 version. And just look at the smooth edges of the car. Uh, once you get to the iPad 1 version here, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just, it's sick. Uh, look at look at the fence line. It's all jaggedy. Uh, Firemint came out with an update to fix some of this. And uh, this is what this looks like. Uh, it fixes a little bit, you know, it fixes the shadow, fixes some of the wires in the background. Uh, but once again, if you go back to the iPad 2 version here, you see it's just a night and day difference. And uh, so definitely, if you want the most playability, and you've got an iPad 2, then you're gonna have the best version of Real Racing 2 HD. Uh, what I'd like to do now is to sort of show you how it works uh, mirroring on the iPad 2 version. It's pretty sweet. So I have my iPad 2 here mirroring to a monitor via DVI to VGA. Uh, I don't have the HDMI uh, output cable yet, uh, but this is so impressive. I'm gonna go here and just go to Real Racing 2. And uh, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick race. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick race. And uh, let's just go here. 
And it's pretty crazy how fast this mirrors and uh, can't get over it. Check it out. It just seems very, very natural. I'm definitely going to have to get the HDMI cable uh, to throw this on a huge projector. Um, the graphics look amazing. I see a lot of applications for this down the road with the iPad 2, that's for sure. Let's look how crazy that is. So the video output mirroring is quite incredible on the iPad 2, and Real Racing 2 HD has taken full advantage of it. Just feels really, really, really natural. So this is what the the mirroring uh, output looks like on We're Racing 2 HD. It's pretty damn impressive, and I can't wait to get my HDMI cable uh, to shoot this to uh, a bigger to a bigger source. So this is Real Racing 2 HD from Fireman. It's $9.99 on the iTunes App Store. And if you love racing games like Gran Turismo or Forza, you're absolutely going to love Real Racing 2 HD. You're going to get the best experience, though, if you're playing this on an iPad 2. If you're playing this on an iPad 1, you're still going to have some great frame rates. Uh, the graphics still look good. Uh, but as far as the best version to play, the iPad 2 version just smokes the iPad 1 version. Um, like I said, you've got over 30 licensed cars, you've got 15 lo different locations, and you get about 10 hours of career mode. And the Wi-Fi and the online multiplayer is just an absolute blast. The folks at Fireman have done a great job. So this is Real Racing 2 HD, $9.99 on the iTunes App Store. And if you get an iPad 2 and you love racing, I highly, highly recommend this app. This has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com. And I'll see you soon.